Me and Gary both kind of landed on the agreement that's like, let's just pre-record everything and nothing will go wrong. Nothing will go wrong. Nothing will go wrong. Well, today's the day. It's um, the day of the live stream. My uh, Kenny Fong as an artist debut, you could say. Ever since Gary picked it up for a show about two months ago, things have been so crazy and been putting in so much work to get everything together, but I've been having so much fun. Like, honestly, I don't know how this stream is gonna go. I'm very nervous I'm gonna fall on my face or something like that. Obviously, I don't mean that literally. The stuff um, I'm gonna be showcasing tonight, I'm very happy with, so. Hopefully it's a good outing and hopefully there's a good crowd. I wanna emphasize, like, there's no way I could do all this alone. Like, people have been helping me with so much stuff producing and mixing all my tracks that, that takes a lot of work and I would not be able to put out as high quality of a product as I'm doing without those people so I want to say thank you to them if they happen to be watching this without them this would not be possible I'm very grateful for this project when uh, the pandemic started like I had no motivation I don't know I feel like a lot of my musician friends are in the same boat where it's like well what do we do you know the scene kind of died and so I'm grateful I had something just to put a lot of effort into and Gary Witta, the show writer, is very happy with what I've given him. Yep. So I think I think it's about time I'm gonna go on that run now. And I'll probably get back to you when the stream starts. Wish me luck. Five hours later. <laughs> about time to go on the show. Uh, it's about 10 minutes and I'm gonna fly over to the island. I'll be waiting backstage for quite a while, but hopefully that means I can talk to the other guest stars. That should be pretty cool. I got this, just my camera like pointed at my TV. I got my controller. Cause I forgot how to take a picture. I wanna get a picture with three bars. It, it counts. Don't say it doesn't count cause that totally counts. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous. I just have no idea how it's gonna go. It's one of those things like, once I do it once, it gets easier. And I haven't done this before, so, no judging. I headed over to Gary's Island and I sat around in his house for a little while until the guests started to arrive. Made sure to snap my picture with Brie Larson as well as the other guests, which included Dr. Lupo and Frisk. And soon after that, the show got underway. sun-kissed island of Kauai, it's Animal Talking! Tonight, join Gary and his guests, Brie Larson, Dr. Lupo, Frisk, and musical guest, Kenny Fong. And now, because with a great talk show comes great responsibility, here's your host, Gary Witta! <laughs> While the show was started, I was sitting backstage talking to Dr. Lupo Frisk and Kate Stark, which was a pretty cool experience as they're all content creators, so I was asking them their advice on what I should be doing, especially starting out with such a small channel as mine. It was a pretty invaluable experience. I didn't want to record everything because I felt that was like a little invasion of their privacy if I didn't tell them I was recording, but it's very cool to get to know those guys and see how they got their success with their content creation. I waited backstage as all the guests came onto the show one by one. Then I watched as the viewership climbed slowly up to 12,000 people, which is quite a bit. And next thing you know, it was my turn to go on. My next guest, I happened to be um, jobbing around, bobbing around on YouTube. And I found this, I literally just typed like late night theme tune music or whatever into YouTube. And a video popped up from like several years ago. Uh, a guy by the name of Kenny Fong. And I loved the music so much I wanted to use it on the show. And that's actually the music that you hear on the show every every week. And we tracked him down. Uh, my wife used all of her uh, Google Foo uh, to track him down. Please welcome to the show uh, the composer of our theme music, both opening and closing credits, Kenny Fong. <laughs> How are you? Let's, let's get you on that. Good. Let's get you on that seat. I am struggling to get on the couch. There we go. Kenny, yeah, what a what a what a journey it's been. I, I randomly found your music on the internet. So 
Um, that was a piece that you composed and performed when you were like in, in like music class. Did, did remind me like where that piece of music came from. Yeah, this was from six years ago. I was in college and uh, the composition teacher wanted to assign us an orchestration assignment. I think his only outline was I had to have eight instruments and I okay. was super into SNL at the time and the Saturday Night Live band. So I wanted to write something in that style. And now you are you 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 wrote the theme music to what The Verge called 2020's hottest late night talk show. And you guys are home, making dreams come home true. to such guests, <laughs> but you did you did uh, get the band back together and you re-recorded live an entirely new version of the theme music. And not only did you do that, you shot a music video. I've never played it live before, actually. Like when I originally oh my recorded God. the stuff, I uh, put it on like I've layered the bass and drums first, and then like slowly added instruments. But yeah, this is. Oh, I, I think live the live stage. version is arguably better than the studio version. It's absolutely incredible. I kind of miss the days in like the '80s and '90s, mostly in the '80s. But like, do you remember when like every big pop and rock song had a bitch and sax solo? That oh, went away. Oh yeah, <laughs> those were the days. Those were the days. <laughs> we're that trying to bring it back, though. You should I mean, back. if anyone's going to bring it back, it's you. My goodness. If you guys want to check out the full interview, I'll put a link down below to where you can find that. It was cool to see the Late Night Show intro being performed live. I was surprised that Gary put on everything that I gave him, but I saw him do a minute of KK Cruising as well as KK Soul. And I was even able to sneak a shout out to my band Jake and the Heist. And we'll be releasing an album this year, so I was glad he was able to give us a shout out. Everything was going pretty good. And then came the joke. I have two roommates that had just gotten home from gigs and both of them hopped on the internet and while I was trying to give this joke, the whole Discord chat started going crazy and I couldn't really hear what anyone was saying. Anytime I talked or anyone else talked, it would be very distorted, so the, the, the final product on their end ended up being me just looking like an idiot. Which for some people, they actually got a, quite a big kick out of that and they thought that was pretty funny. They thought I was trying to do a bit, but no. My internet was going out and I just couldn't say my joke. And to be entirely honest, if the joke was the only thing that went wrong, that is a great outing and a great interview. And the fact that people thought I was doing it intentionally was hilarious. Overall, I'm very happy with how the interview went and how all the songs came through. It was so much fun to watch the chat light up whenever my music got played. And I don't think anyone in the chat knew who I was. So it was pretty cool exposure and I'm glad we put in as much effort as we did to put out a good final product. That's going to be it for this video. I just want to say, like always, thank you for watching. I'm very happy to announce that I do have a Spotify profile as well as an Apple Music profile. I'll put the links to both down below. I have a couple EPs that feature everything that's been on Animal Crossing, including the two covers, so I'm very excited about that. If you want to check out any of our in-studio performances, I'll also put the links down below. Big shout out to everyone who subscribed. I appreciate your patience as I figure out what exactly I want to do with this channel. I'm not exactly sure yet, but I'm having a lot of fun and I hope you are too. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.